aim of this experiment is effect of mediatics and myotics on rabbit's eye objectives of this experiment are to understand the phenomenon of mediasis and meiosis to understand the phenomenon of cycloplegia and photophobia to understand the phenomenon of paralysis of accommodation The circular colored moving disc of eye is called iris. It is present in between cornea and lens. Pupil is the central aperture of iris. The pupil regulates amount of light entering inside the eye. Its size is controlled by two small smooth muscle fibers named the circular muscle fibers and radial muscle fibers. The iris consists of circular and radial smooth muscle fibers. Iris regulates the amount of light entering through the pupil. Pupil size is regulated by parasympathetic reflex through circular muscle fiber and sympathetic reflex through radial muscle fiber. The parasympathetic and sympathetic nerves regulate the pupil size or diameter. Circular muscle is innervated by parasympathetic nerves and radial muscle by sympathetic nerves. In bright light, circular muscle of iris contract due to stimulation of parasympathetic nerves and pupil size decreases. In dim light, radial muscles of iris contract due to stimulation by sympathetic nerves and leads to increase in pupil size. Increase in pupil size is called midriasis and decrease in pupil size is called meiosis. Drugs which increase pupil size are called midriatics. Because of midriasis, an individual can see objects which are far away but fails to observe objects which are nearer. This inability is called cycloplegia. Because of cycloplegia, person fails to respond to bright light. This inability to respond to bright light is called photophobia. Drugs which decrease pupil size are called myotics. Because of meiosis, an individual can see the objects which are nearer but fails to observe objects which are far away. This inability produced is called paralysis of accommodation or spasm of accommodation. To study effect of midriatic and myotic on rabbit's eye Select an adult and healthy rabbit of either sex. Place it in a rabbit holder properly. Cut the eyelashes and fiscars of the eye of the rabbit with a sharp scissor. Check the corneal reflex, light reflex in right eye of the rabbit. Touch the cornea of rabbit's eye with cotton wick. The rabbit blinks the eye. It means that the corneal reflex is present in the right eye. Focus the right eye with a beam of light from a paint torch and observe the blinking of eye. It means light reflex is present too. 
measure the size of the pupil with the scale. Repeat the same observations in left eye of the rabbit. Thereafter, treat the right eye of the rabbit as the control eye and left eye as the test eye. Instill 2 to 3 drops of pilocarpine solution in the test eye of the rabbit. Apply slight pressure with finger on the medial canthus to avoid nasolacrimal drainage of the drug. Measure the pupil size in both the eyes at an interval of 15 minutes up to 1 hour. You will observe that the pupil size of the test eye decreases as compared to that of the control eye. Also note the unchanged pupil size in the control eye throughout the experiment along with presence of corneal reflex and light reflex. Now observe the corneal reflex and light reflex in the test eye. You will notice that these reflexes remained unaffected. It means that the drug pilocarpine is meiotic and doesn't affect other eye reflexes. For studying midriatic effect, use the same animal after allowing a time gap of 24 hours to wear off the effect of earlier drug used. Instill 2 to 3 drops of cyclopentolate solution in the test eye. Apply slight pressure with finger on the medial canthus to avoid nasolacrimal drainage of the drug. Measure the pupil size in both the eyes at an interval of 15 minutes up to 1 hour. You will notice that the pupil size in the test eye increases as compared to that of the control eye. You will also observe that the light reflex is lost. This means that cyclopentolate is a midriatic. You will confirm the midriatic property of cyclopentolate by simultaneous observations on the control eye which remains unaffected. Thus, we can say that parasympathomimetics show meiosis whereas sympathomimetics and ticholinergics show midriasis. You have learnt that drugs affect radial and circular muscle fibers of iris and thus produce midriasis or meiosis. Drug contracts ciliary muscle fibers and increase the lens diameter and produce cycloplegia and photophobia. Midriatics cause cycloplegia producing photophobia. Myotics produce paralysis of accommodation.